So yes, this is in response to some more stupid flat earth nonsense. Um, there's this meme that suggests that uh, flights from Sydney to Santiago in uh, Chile fly on this ridiculous route through uh, North America. And the claim is that, oh, that route makes sense on the flat earth, but not on the globe earth. Well, um, you know, there, Qantas flight uh, 27 goes from Sydney to Santiago. And um, I was able to capture uh, some data from Flight Aware from uh, Sydney to Santiago QF flight 27 that flew on the 25th of, the, of December. This is what that the, the path uh, of that flight looks like on a flat earth map. And it does actually, does actually look strange because it's got this curved path and you wouldn't think, oh, why would uh, a flight want to go that sort of direction? But um, when you actually bring it in onto, uh, onto Google Earth, uh, that data, you see it takes this pattern here. That's the, it's that, that line there that's going down past Antarctica. Uh, so you can see actually it's quite a straight route when you uh, when you plot it on the globe earth um, the data drops out every now and again when it's not near uh, a radar um, but um, you can see there yep it's a fairly uh, fairly straight uh, path so yeah you go to flight aware and you find your flights so you type in QF27 and then you go to the page and that'll show you the, a current flight that's actually happening and then you can go and select one that's already finished and then you go view track log graph and that brings up all this data on latitude and longitude then you just copy that and paste that into a spreadsheet and then the trick is to get the uh, the latitude and longitude from that into a .kml format, and um, actually you need to switch the latitude and longitude around uh, in in KLM format. And then you just save that text file as a KLM .kLM file, and then you import it into uh, Google Earth via uh, file file open, and uh, yeah, the uh, the track will appear as a as a white line on Google Earth. 